Oh my god, it's the Anson Bell. Yes, guys, it's the Anson Bell. And in this video, I'm going to do a little quick unboxing for you guys and give you my overall verdict after using this thing for about three months. Let's go. What's up, guys? Welcome to today's video. My name is Richard from Assembled Style. And if you're new here, welcome. In this channel, we cover everything from its fashion, lifestyle, and just self improvement overall. So if you're interested in that, Please make sure to hit that subscribe button and for my returning subs guys you already know what to do please 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 hit that like button make sure to comment and yeah let's get this video started all right so not that long ago i actually did a video covering micro adjustable holeless belts and if you haven't seen that video i'm gonna link it up above but to sum it up real quick i went the cheap route because a lot of these you know type of belts are popping out in discount stores like ross and kohl's and i'm gonna show you you know give you a little update on those belts but i'm getting a little too far ahead of myself but let's just go straight into anson belts all right so if you stay up to date on this whole youtube style game you would know about anson belt because this brand has been heavily promoted by the top influencers out there and which leads me to my next point is that no this video is not sponsored at all but anson belt were kind enough to provide me product to review for you guys so let's get into it so first things first is the presentation. This is a packaging, very nice, simple, white, sturdy box. Comes with a pull tab. Now this is perfect for gift wrapping, especially, you know, with the holidays coming up. And they sent me the, the three pack, the gift, the gift box of the three pack, including three belt straps and two buckles. All right, so here it is after sliding it out and I'm gonna get a close up shot for you guys to get a better look. Now they let, they let me choose the color of the straps. So I went with a cognac and oxblood and a dark brown now as for the belt buckles i chose a formal one because I, I really want it to look just like a regular belt buckle when i have it on so i just went with the standard you know gun metal and they out also included this age um belt buckle right here which i've really been digging lately i've been pairing this a lot with my oxblood belt and uh, uh, yeah and the whole strap right the whole strap is made out of you know 100 percent genuine calf leather and these have been pre-cut already they've been adjusted and if you were to purchase a three strap and two buckle gift box it will cost you about a hundred dollars now to me that's a really good deal on three actual you know genuine leather belt straps and two buckles because i've spent somewhere between you know 80 to 130 dollars on a single you know leather belt that doesn't have any of this micro adjustable you know buckle here and when I compare it to, you know, my cheaper, you know, micro adjustable belts that I purchased at Ross and Kohl's, it seems to work much more smoother compared to those. And it's just a lot easier to function because, you know, one thing that I really appreciate from Anson belt is this lever right here. When you want to change, you know, when you want to swap out a, for a different leather, you know, strap is that they have this little lever right here. You just pull down take it out and you're good to go. Whereas, you know, my cheap, whereas like the cheaper alternatives, it was a little bit difficult to unbuckle that thing. Like I could, I had to use, I had to have nails in order to take it out. And sometimes it wouldn't work or I had to get a knife or something to, to really get that thing to, to unfold. I also have another cheap micro adjustable belt where the belt buckle was designed, you know, to give an illusion as if your belt was punctured through a hole. But over time, you know, it really damaged the leather and which leads me to my next point of the, the leather on the cheaper belts. Well, the leather on the cheaper belts, it wasn't leather at all. It was faux leather and the leather was just very flimsy. And, you know, I'll show you a close up shot on how much damage it did on that faux leather belt. And, and yeah, it's actually nice to have an actual leather belt this time. And as for the micro adjustment, three months of use, of this thing and i haven't had any issues at all and the lever i love how it's hidden it's very small but it's so easy to unadjust seriously guys very simple i mean i really can't knock on this company and this company makes so many different straps at a very reasonable price each strap goes for about 25 dollars i think whether that's leather suede or canvas 25 bucks that's a good deal and the amount of you know options that you have in terms of interchangeability and all that it's pretty solid so whereas the cheaper belts like yeah you could buy you know a cheaper belt with the with the buckle and the strap but as far as like trying to swap out for something you 
I mean, those those fits are not universal and they don't sell, you know, separate straps. Whereas Anson Belt, you could go back and you could choose so many different types of straps. But overall, Anson Belt gets a thumbs up from me. It does what it claims to do. It lives up to the hype. And it's just an overall solid product, a good quality product compared to my cheaper alternatives. And after using this for three months, I haven't had, you know, I didn't experience any problems at all. And even if I did, you know, experience a problem, whether that be the bell or the mechanism, they offer a lifetime guarantee. So the customer service is there, which is something that's very important to me, you know, when it comes to a quality product. Seriously, guys, I highly suggest you guys um, try out one of these micro adjustable holeless belts because these things are really a game changer. Unfortunately, I do not have a discount code for you guys. I don't even think they provide discount codes, but for me, I highly suggest you just go with the three straps and the two buckles to get the best deal for $100. And I wanna give a big personal thank you to David for getting this out to me super quick. I'm sorry for the late review. I really, really wanted to take my time testing this product out. And hopefully you understand <laughs> when you see this video or if you see this video, but yeah, guys, uh, that wraps up today's video. Thank you guys for watching once again. See you next video. Peace.